So my girlfriend's setup is currently a laptop on the floor. I think it needs a bit of an upgrade. Why is it like this? Well, we recently just moved house, meaning that her new office slash gaming room is now this. And we need to fix that. You see, my girlfriend Emily is literally the backbone of this YouTube channel. She does all the filming, she does half of the editing, and it's fair to say this channel wouldn't be where it is today without her. So I feel a responsibility to try and make this empty room into the setup of her dreams. Now, because this is a new house, we could have actually picked a few of the different rooms. However, I don't really like massive rooms. All that I need is a chair, a desk, little keyboard, bosh. Right, if I'm gonna build this thing, you're not allowed in here. Oh. So you're gonna have to leave. You're not allowed in this room until it's done. Now, the first thing we gotta do is head to the hardware store because I wanted to spice this room up with a little bit of pen. So we've got the pen, we've got all the supplies. Don't know what design I'm gonna do for the room yet. To be honest though, I never really do. For these rooms, I usually just wing it. And I think that's what I'm gonna do in this video. Like that is the dancing method. It's worked for us every single time so far. You know, the setups haven't came out too bad. Now we don't obviously have Emily to shoot this because I don't want her to see it. So I apologize for the lack of camera movement. In fact, you know, I'll just add some virtual camera movement. Oh, it's a bit more lively now, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's paint this room. Okay, so the first wall is done now. I've got to let that dry out. However, I want to do this wall as well, but I want to make it a little bit different. It's going to have a little pattern on it. I pray this design works, man, because if it doesn't, I'm screwed. The shape is down. Now we just got to paint over it. Okay, so I've waited like 30 minutes. The wall is like pretty much all dry now, so I think it's time to take the tape off. I'm very scared here, but let's just, let's just pull it off. Oh, please be clean, please be clean. Oh God, please be clean. Please be clean, please. from one or two little blotches of paint, I would say this looks pretty good. The reason why this wall's kind of bland and the other wall's kind of like funky, it's basically because we're gonna be sticking a load of stuff on this wall, so it only needs like a flat color. And the first thing we're sticking on are these. These are like art wall panels. I'm gonna like stick these on the wall here. All I need to do to put these up is just put some like sticky adhesive pads on here. And I'll just sort of just place them onto here and just stay on the wall. Then let's stick another one here, third one down. Look at that. Now listen, I know this doesn't look amazing just on its own, but what I'm gonna probably do is put like a shelf on the top and bottom, and hopefully that should give it a bit more of a, I don't know what's the word, it should look better, is what I'm trying to say. Here we are in the home of furniture, the meatballs. I've never had the meatballs, actually. You've never, you've actually never had the meatballs? I've never had the meatballs. We need a lack shelf, we need like loads of these. What size lack are we going for? Big one. I've just realised we didn't take measurements of the room. <laughs> I like this plan. Oh. Oh. Trap your finger. Yeah. Pegboard. LEDs. They're not very good LED strips, are they? Oh, these, are, however. Let's go. So I paid for everything at IKEA. Spent two hundred pounds at IKEA. Put everything in the car. Again, the car is filled to the brim with stuff that I probably shouldn't be fitting in here. Oh well, it's time to go home. Okay, top the shelf on. Hey, that's pretty good. The next thing we've got to put on the walls is a, a pegboard. I don't know what I'm gonna put on here, but we'll, we'll find out. Now we're just gonna hang this on here. I haven't really got anything to put up there right now, so I've just gone with this keyboard. Okay, now that the pegboard is in, the next thing we need to add is a desk. So yeah, flexi spot. Carly sent this over. They sent us many desks in the past and they've all been amazing. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, this is so heavy. There we go. Now we've got to go get the legs. Lift, 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 lift. I'm lifting. Lift. I'm lifting as much as I can lift. Lift more. Okay, yeah. This doesn't look heavy either, but it's so heavy. It's very heavy. Oh my God, okay, we're going to have to put it down for a minute. Lift, 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 lift. lift. Now we can put it down. Oh. This, this thing is heavy, but then again, it needs to be to support the weight that these things do. We've also got a chair as well. We've also got like a cable spine as well. Yeah, I'm actually a child. Right, let's build this thing. Oh, yes! That is a very solid desk. Here we got the legs again. Incredibly heavy, but again, that means they are sturdy. I used to have a standing desk like two years ago, and that was very light. However, light desks, they, uh, they fall apart. Let's build this desk. That's done. 
There we go. Put all cables in here. Plug it in. Now hopefully when I press this button. Oh, we're rising. We're rising. Good news is the desk is now done. Bad news, I've only got half the space to build the chair now. So oh, this is going to be fun. Again, this was sent over by our friends at Flexi Spot. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the gray and white is going to go hard. Yeah, this is going to look so good. Headrest. I know this looks weird, but it's just, it's very comfy. Instructions. Oh god, that actually went up with a Oh no, Adam, <laughs> it's in the drain. No, it's not. Oh no, it's in the drain. Yeah, if we need them instructions now, we are screwed. <laughs> like, what's this for? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to use what I know about building chairs now to try and build this as best as possible. Ow! There's the base. That's not going anywhere. I might have just done this. Right, I need instructions. Now is the moment of truth. Very comfortable. Oh my god, now this one is a leap. This probably looks quite weird, but it's, it's, it's actually really fascinating. Yeah, this is already looking crazy. The next thing we want to add in here is some plants. We've got plant pot, plant, uh, tall grass, big plant. This can go in the plant pot, this can go on the windowsill, one here for the desk, and we can have one on the side of the shelf, just like that. Now the plants are in. Okay, we'll put them Oh my god, it actually does. Hang on. Do you have fun there? Oh. God, the sun was right. Okay, the setup is looking pretty good right now. It's also looking pretty bland. So I bought some stuff off Amazon for us to make it better. White monitor stand, some plugs, a white MX Master Mouse, which is probably my favorite mouse of all time, but this time. It's in white and also it's the updated version. But these are the main things we need to add right now. So firstly, I'm going to try and add in Emily's old monitor. Adam, no. could you help me? Hello. Oh, God. Okay. Whoa. Maybe could you give me that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you just, that. Just, oh. Oh, okay. oh my God, this is so heavy. We've got a monitor there. Next, we've got a white monitor stand. Yeah. Now the setup we want for this is we're gonna have like a main monitor here, which is like a, a 34 inch wide, and then we're gonna have a, like a vertical here, and then the PC should go there. People told me that I shouldn't put it in with this. But you know what? We haven't got any other screwed up, let's just do it. Yeah, that one can go there, that one can go there. Oh, I like that. Next of all, we've got a lovely mouse mat. Like I said, Emily didn't want this to be like a, a pink girly silk, but we're gonna put a little bit of pink in there because it is a, it's a girlfriend set. So the mouse that we've got is the MX Master 3S. Now this is honestly my favorite mouse in the world. I have like four of these. However, this one is the newest one. I only have the first version of it and this is the free. So this is gonna be a lot better and it's in white. That's just, oh. That's so nice. Now to go with every good mouse, we need a great keyboard. Now I was gonna put in this one here, but this is mine and I really, really like it. However, Epo Maker do another one of these in white and pink and I think that would just go perfect with this aesthetic we're trying to do. It is 110 pounds, however, and that is, that, that's too expensive for me without getting any content from it. So if I'm gonna buy that keyboard, she's gotta earn it the good old Dante way. We're playing Smash Bros, people. Emily wins and she doesn't know what she wins, I can't tell you, but she wins something. If Adam wins, I'll give you 50 pounds. Nice. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Emily's little Mac, Adam's Pete Greninja. Adam, if Emily wins this, I'm bankrupt, so I need you to beat my girlfriend. Wait, 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 wait. what? Oh, my God, Adam's getting a few good hits on her. Oh, my God. Oh! It was now 3-2 and Emily was taking damage, but she wasn't going down easy. Oh my God! Emily with a combo. Oh my God, Emily, come on! I mean, Adam, what, 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 what? You're an idiot, you're an actual idiot. Why are you trying to make me lose more money? She hasn't even lost a life yet. I understand, I'm trying. With it now being 3-1, Adam needed to start playing better to be able to win. And luckily, he did. You've still got a chance, Adam. Yes, Adam, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit him. Oh, God. Yeah. Adam, you are on the last life at 70%. You cannot get hit here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, it's 1-1. Adam's on 91. Emily's got the advantage here. There was still a chance for Adam to win, but Emily was more focused than ever to get the dub. Oh my god. Adam was still in at 148 health and managing to get a good few hits on Emily, but... Oh my god. 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 O
Adam lost, so I had to spend £110 on a keyboard. Oh, my wallet hates me right now. It's here. This is very, very pink. Okay, let's open it up. That is really nice. Let's have a quick sound test. Got a nice little cable here. Let's plug that in. Now the great thing about this keyboard is it's got like a little monitor accessory which you can just plug in here. And it gives you like all the stats of the keyboard, like how much battery percentage it's on, like what LED light setting you're on. It's genuinely brilliant. Like if I turn it on, <gasps> I didn't even realize it was RGB. It's got a little volume dial here as well. What more could you want in a keyboard? Now apart from the PC, the setup is kind of done. The only thing that we're really missing is some RGB, which is incredibly essential if you've seen any of my setups. I always like to make the room look as colorful as possible. So what I've got is a big box of stuff from my old setups ranging from LED rope lights. We've got some light bars here. And I'm basically just going to go through this and just try and make a cool design on the wall. First thing we're going to add are these little light bars here. I've used these in pretty much every single setup I've done just because they're so good. These are going to go basically behind the monitors here and they're going to splash some light on this wall design here. Now these have a bit of adhesive on the back of them. So what I can do is I can just stick this there to the back of this monitor. And then basically I can just hook that onto there like that. And then I can do the same to this one here. All I'm going to do now is plug it in, turn off the lights. Oh, <laughs> let me just change the color. Oh, that is so sick. Boom, boom. I also use some nano leaf shapes to create some wall art. I've made like a little heart shape here. There is a chance that this just does fall off the wall because all these sticky bits have been used before and peeled off a wall so here goes nothing is what I'm saying. I'm just gonna slam it against the wall and we're just gonna keep that there. I'm gonna press, I'm gonna press, press really hard and it shouldn't fall down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that ain't gonna work. I've put some more sticky pads on there and this is take two. There we go. Please stay. Please, please, please. Hey, look at that! Got another light on there. That looks pretty cool. This room is really starting to come together now, but we're still not even finished. You see, we still hadn't put in the PC. Now, Emily's actually got a very good PC with some good specs. However, it just wouldn't look right in the setup. So I had an idea. This is your PC. Yeah. This is my PC. Yes. This would look a lot nicer in your setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer your PC parts into mine. And then we're also going to add in a few new upgrades to your PC. You're going to do it though. I'm doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Pop it open. Ooh, I'm starting to doubt myself here a little bit. Oh, there, there, you there you go. Be careful because that, that is my PC. All of our work and everything is on here. Okay, so the main thing that we need to take out is the GPU. Do okay. you know how to do that? Not really. Um, ooh, what, what do I unscrew first? Is it, do I have to do it in a specific order? Uh, maybe. And that's it. Take the GPU off. Okay. Another one. Pull the GPU ooh. out. Okay, this is heavy. Yeah, it's, like, it's basically like a little brick. That's mine though, so give me that here. Oh. In the meantime, I have got this for you. A vertical GPU mount. This bit I will do myself because I won't lie, I haven't even put up one of these before in my life, so I'll, I'll, I'll do this one. It's a bit like Lego, isn't it? This is my Lego. <gasps> Yeah, what if we built a Lego PC? We should probably yeah. learn how to build actual PCs though first, but it's time to add a new RAM. These look like something that you'd put in a station. I know I definitely don't want to break these. I want graphics. Yes, that's what they do, they do graphics. Wait, G. No, it's RAM. There you go. Oh. Hear the click. Oh, yeah, I had that, that was one. the first one. Okay, now let's put your GPU in. How do you do this? Yeah, building PCs is hard, I told you. She was supposed to do this herself, but of course, I have to end up helping. I actually would love to see you build like an entire PC from scratch, you know? I personally don't actually want to do that. There you go, look at that. Oh, that looks that sick. Oh, oh, no, I want a GP. Wait, oh, we didn't plug it in. There you go, plugged in. Gosh. So if you come and take a look at my beautiful brand new PC, we can see two new white round sticks and a vertical mounted GPU that I definitely put in all by myself. Uh, all by yourself, no yes. help whatsoever. It was me. All you, all you. All me. I just realised, you know we haven't tested if it turns on yet. Moment of truth. Oh, is that one? Everything seems to be yeah. running all right. Yeah, well done darling. Woo. Good handshake that is. Right, I'm taking this to your room now. Okay, here is the new PC. First thing we've got to do, turn on the lights pink here. Now to finish this setup off, I synced up all the lights, added a few extra essential things to the desk, and now the only thing left to do was show Emily the set. Okay, the room is all done. It's now time to show Emily. Let's go get her. Emily. This is Emily's setup, by the way. Big wooden table, horrible gaming chair, very messy. Right, now let's go see your new gaming okay. setup. I want you to know I've put my heart and soul into this one. Because yes. it's for you, obviously. Well, close your eyes then. Close your eyes. I just want to say, 
Right, I really appreciate all that you've done for this channel. Uh, we're just such a good team. I wanted to give you like the best editing, gaming, just setup ever, all right? So, I want you to open your eyes in three, two, one. Oh my God! This looks insane. Yeah. It's a little big guy, but it's not too that's good. <laughs> it's not like an e girl setup, is it? No. Yeah. I'm not each other. I'm that's, that's kind of strange, but I like it. I love the wall design. I've only just noticed that art over there. That's so cool. Oh, so it's fair to say you like it then, yeah. I absolutely love it. It looks perfect, genuinely. Thank you. Mm. I'm sorry, you guys have to witness this. Now what else you got to say? Oh, yeah. If you like this video, you should go watch this one right here. She yeah. knows what to do. Yeah. Go watch the next video. Link right there. <laughs>